Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. In this video I'm going to talk about a unique flashlight retention system that I came up with. This is my Streamlight Scorpion X, and it's a great flashlight to have for clearing a, a house or clearing anything like that that you need a light. And what I did is I took two zip ties. Uh, thank you to Mr. Leonidas for sending me these zip ties. He's the one who sent me some, some like multi-cam colored zip ties. And I used those to attach a O-ring. Now, I just went to, um, AutoZone, I believe it was, and asked them if they had any uh, one inch diameter O-rings that were really tough, really thick, something that would, would be aggressive, to stand up to aggressive use, and they gave me this uh, for 57 cents. So you can get them pretty cheap. Um, and I attached this up here near the bezel. Now, the reason why I attached it near the bezel is because I like to use an ice pick grip when I carry this instead of the saber grip. Now, you can still use this up here near the bezel in the saber grip, but it's not ideal. And the reason is, is this is for retaining your flashlight so that you can use your support hand. Remember, your dominant hand is going to be taken up running the handgun. However, sometimes you need your support hand to uh, manipulate your firearm, whether that means uh, correcting a malfunction or reloading it. Also, you need it to open doors, maybe to uh, push an obstacle or a person out of your way, or even usher children into a, uh, a barricaded room. You need your hand free to do a number of different things. And if I have an ice, well, let's let's say I have a, well, any grip, whether it's saber or ice pick, I want it to attach to my pinky because I want the flashlight to move out of the way of the triangle part of my hand. Now, when you, when you use, uh, okay, so when you reload, let's say, or when you do anything with your hand, your main three fingers are gonna be your middle finger, your pointer finger, and your thumb. And then when you reload, you're gonna be using your palm a lot. So you wanna stay out of this triangle here, okay? So that means if you're doing saber grip, for instance, you don't want to loop this loop around your pointer finger. Why? Because when I go to use this hand, where does that flashlight stay? It stays in the triangle, the place where I want it to stay out of. Okay, but when I keep it on my pinky, that means I can flip it around to the back and I keep it out of the triangle. Then I can load a handgun, rotate my hand, and I'm back in position to do any type of scanning. Now, you may ask, why am I going through the, the process of doing a retention system on a flashlight when I can just have a weapon-mounted light? Weapon-mounted lights are great. They keep your hand perfectly free. They're generally lighter. They, of course, attach to the firearm, so you don't have to scramble in the dark for both your firearm and a flashlight things of that nature. So they do come in handy. However, they can cause you to break rule number two of safety, and that is do not let your muzzle pass over anything you do not wish to destroy. So if you want to light up a room, you have to, wherever that flashlight points is also where your muzzle is pointing. So for instance, if you're trying to clear your children into a barricaded room and you can't see and need a flashlight, you may actually be passing the muzzle over your children in order to see them. And so that is, that's definitely not ideal. And again, it breaks safety rule number two of firearm safety. The second thing is, is that when you do direct lighting, sometimes you don't get as good of a picture as if you take the flashlight and shine it against the ceiling. A white ceiling will allow the light to disperse, and it's very good at lighting up an entire room so that you don't have to do 
up and down scanning or side to side, whichever one you choose, to try to acquire your target. You can hit the ceiling first, get a general picture, and then go to a specific sighting, especially if you see a threat. Also, you can take the flashlight and you can hold it away from your body in a, uh, a dark, um, a dimly lit place. Uh, it's general that the person shoots towards the light. So if you can get the, the flashlight away from your, your uh, you know, main target area, uh, the fatal T as they call it, then that can help you survive. You may get shot in the arm, but if they're firing at that light, you're over here firing and they're firing at your arm. So it, it can be helpful to have a flashlight that's not attached to your firearm. And this allows you to retain that so that you can open doors, so that you can manipulate your firearm, whatnot, swing back and you have it at the ready. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. As always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.